you today. I hope you are feeling good just like me. My name is Teacher Delfina and I am excited to guide you throughout this module. Before we proceed, let's look first on our topic and objective. Today's lesson is about writing an editorial and you are expected to write an editorial article. I know that you are ready to learn, so what are you waiting for? Bring out now your paper or pen or pencil and your self-learning modules and let's start the activity. For what I know, you are going to write an editorial by writing paragraph in the correct part. We have here the parts of an editorial. Introduction we have here the example. The school kids might stage a revolt, but a proposal to ban students from 10th grade and younger from using cell phones and other electronic gadgets in the classroom is worth considering. We have here the argument. You're going to choose your answer from the paragraph below. We have also here the evidence, the counter-argument, refutation and your conclusion we have here the choices in letter a in contrast she cited a 2015 study conducted by the london school of economics and political science which showed a significant improvement in students test scores in schools that banned mobile phone use Robes also noted that last year, France imposed a nationwide ban on cell phone use among students in primary and middle schools to improve academic performance and promote healthy social development. Her bill allows students to use their cell phones from emergencies, during special learning sessions, or if the gadgets are needed for medical purposes such as the monitoring of a child's health indicators as recommended by a physician. The phones and other ele electronic gadgets are to be deposited with school authorities for safekeeping until the end of the school day. Letter B. It's a different world and a different generation for whom the use of electronic ga gadgets is intuitive. Letter C. This proposal does not intend to deprive children of the use of such gadgets, but to allow them to concentrate better on using the faculties they were born with for learning within the controlled environment of a classroom. This ban is a proposal worth considering. Letter E. Representative Rita Rubes of San Jose del Monte City in Bulacan has filed the bill in the House of Representatives seeking the ban, which aims to cover students up to 15 years old. And letter F. Robes said studies have linked children's use of phones and other electronic gadgets in school to diminish academic performance, cyberbullying, teenage depression, and even suicide. We have here the choices. In letter A, in contrast, she cited a 2015 study conducted by the London School of Economics and Political Science, which showed a significant improvement in students' test scores in schools that banned mobile phone use. Robes also noted that last year, France imposed a nationwide ban on cell phone use among students in primary and middle schools to improve academic performance and promote healthy social development. Her bill allows students to use their cell phones for emergencies, during special learning sessions, or if the gadgets are needed for medical purposes, such as the monitoring of a child's health indicators as recommended by a physician. The phones and other electronic gadgets are to be deposited with school authorities 
for safe keeping until the end of the school day. For letter B, it's a different world and a different generation for whom the use of electronic gadgets is intuitive. Letter C, the proposal does not intend to deprive children of the use of such gadgets but to allow them to concentrate better on using the faculties they were born with for learning within the controlled environment of a classroom. This ban is a proposal worth considering. Letter E. Representative Rita Ropes of San Jose del Monte City in Bulacan has filed a bill in the House of Represent Representatives. Letter E. Representative Rita Ropes of San Juan del Monte City in Bulacan has filed a bill in the House of Representatives seeking the ban which aims to cover students up to 15 years old. And letter F, Rob said studies have linked children's use of phones and other electronic gadgets in school to diminish academic performance, cyberbullying, teenage depression, and even suicide. In one scene, look and read the graphic organizer below about editorial. Then put a check in the sentence if it is correct and mark X if not. We have here the first petal and endorse or support an issue of public significance. Forecasting the future and passing moral judgment. In the last petal, criticizes for attack, political, economic, and moral dilemma of the society. And then, the voice of the editorial staff and the readers, believed to be the heart and soul of the newspaper, and thought-provoking and raised questions in the mind of those who read it. And then, in here, this, are the, this section in newspaper editorial is the section in newspaper or magazines in which opinions and reactions are shared. Then, in what's new, we are going to read an editorial article entitled Morning versus Night Showers, which is better. The morning versus night shower debate has been raging for centuries. Unless you want to murder the environment and wreck your skin, overshowering is a big no-no. You can do both. So morning or night, which is better? Which can you skip? Today, I'm here to put this critical matter to rest once and for all. Buckle up as we explore exactly why showering at night is infinite. Buckle up as we explore exactly why showering at night is infinitely better than in the morning. To start, let's talk about the number one reason we shower. To not be dirty and smell like butt. Well, when we are dirtiest and smelliest, after laying motionless in a cool room for 8 hours, or after a day of sweating, touching dirty, dirty things, working hard. It's not rocket silence. Take your car, for example. When do you wash it? After driving around in the mud all day? Or after it's been sitting? Clean your protective garage all week. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, but I can just wash all the, that green off in the morning. I want to be fresh going to work. To that, I'd say, gross. Why? If given the choice, why you want to wrap your grubby bacteria and tested skin in your bed sheets, and then later all night, cocoon in fit while you sleep? No, a bed is meant to be a clean zone. If it weren't, why would we bother changing the sheets? You do change your sheets, don't you? 
Fortunately, this conundrum has an easy solution. Shower at night, sleep clean, splash water on your face in the morning, live a prosperous life. And then we have here the questions. What is the topic in the article? What are the two opposing topics? What sentence shows the argument? What sentence shows the evidence? What is it called an editorial? For what is it, let's read and study the steps on how to write an editorial and its essential parts. In number one, choose a topic that interests you. We have here the example, morning versus night showers, which is better? Number two, introduce your topic, brief background, explain the history of the issue, who it affects, and why people should care. Be sure to capture or hook the interest and make them feel connected. Example, the morning versus night shower debate has been raging for centuries. Unless you want to murder the environment and wreck your skin, over showering is a big no no. You can do both, so morning or night. Which is better? Which can you skip? Today, I'm here to put this critical matter to rest once and for all. Number three, boldly declare your opinion. Buckle up as we explore exactly why showering at night is infinitely better than in the morning. That's the example of number three. And number four, build your argument. Example, we start. Let's talk about number one reason we shower. Two, not to be dirty and smell like butt. Well, when we are dirtiest and smelliest, after laying motionless in a cold room for 8 hours, or after a day of sweating, touching dirty things, working hard, it's not rocket silence. Number 5. Add in analogies or examples to back up your argument. Example. Take your car for example. When do you wash it? After driving around in the mud all day? Or after it's been sitting? Clean in your protected protected garage and all week. Take your car for example. When do you wash it? After driving around in in the mud all day, or after it's been sitting clean in your protected garage all week. Number six. Acknowledge opposing viewpoints and politely demolish them. And an example. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, but I can just wash all that green up in the morning. I want to be fresh going to work. To that, I'd say brush. <laughs> Example, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, but I can just wash all the green off in the morning. I want to be fresh going to work. To that, I'd say gross. Why? If given the choice, would you want to wrap your grubby bacteria infested skin in your bed sheets and then lay there all night, cocoon and fill while you sleep? No, a bed is meant to be a clean zone. If it weren't, why would we bother changing the, the sheets? You change your sheets, don't you? And lastly, lastly and lastly, number seven, finish the article by offering a new solution or a way of looking at the issue. Example, fortunately, this compound room has an easy solution. I'm sticking with Example, fortunately, this conundrum room has an easy solution. Shower at night, sleep clean. Splash water on your face in the morning. Live a prosperous life. And we have here the essential parts of an editorial. Number one, introduction. In the introduction, builds a reader's interest in the topic and gives an overview of the issue. Number two, 
argument, the argument presents your opinion along with reasons why the audience should agree with you. Number three, the evidence. Evidence supports your argument with facts, research, or anecdotes. Number four, counter argument. All editorial writers should establish credibility by presenting a fair review of the perspective. Number four, counter argument. All editorial writers should establish credibility by presenting a fair review of the perspectives involved. While a phrasing editorial might be mostly positive with a brief reference to an issue, a critical editorial needs to address the opposing perspective directly. Number five, refutation. After sharing the counter argument with a reader, the writer must explain why that argument is not accurate or relevant. Refuting the counter argument allows you to promote your point of view while still seeming fair. And number six, conclusion. In the final paragraph of your editorial, summarize your point. Of. Number six, and number six, conclusion. In the final paragraph of your editorial, summarize your point of view and remind the reader why they should care about this issue. In what's more, you're going to start writing an editorial article. So read the given article below entitled Need of Population, Education, and complete the table. Number one and two are done for you. In what's more, we are going to start writing an editorial article. Read the given article and complete the table. Number one and two are done for you. Need of population education. Poverty, high cost of living, school crisis, lack of job opportunities, confronts common people. Millions of children are victims of undernourishment and deficiency diseases that shorten their life and harm their mental development due to the failure of parents to send their still due to the failure of parents to send their children to school illiteracy rates are high and are still increasing many of us have these problems but very few are aware that excessive population growth is responsible for these pressures as well as for the lowering of quality of human resources and development, especially as regards educational standards. The inclusion of population education in the school curriculum is then answer to the need of the younger crop underbound to face the reality when under are operating. The inclusion of population education in the school curriculum is then answer to the need of the younger crop are bound to face the reality of parenthood in the near future. Basic cultural values concerning the individual, his family, the society, and the nation can be effectively brought into the extent desired through population education. This idea will help in adopting a small family now and will ensure good health for the mother, better welfare for the children, economic stability of the family, and a bright future for the continuing generations. We have here the part of an editorial that you're going to do. Number one and number two are done for you. Then you're going to give the evidence, the counter-argument, refutation, and conclusion. Let's summarize what we have learned in this module. Write the word to complete 
each sentence. Number one, choose a blank that interests you. Number two, blank your topic. Number three, boldly declare your your blank. Number four, build your blank. Number five, in analogies or blank to back up your argument. Number six, acknowledge blank and politely blank them. Seven, finish the article by offering a new blank or a way of looking at the issue. And then, you're going to arrange the scrambled letters to give the different parts of an editorial. We are now in what I can do. Before you start the activity, may I ask you, do you have gadgets like cell phones or tablets? How much time do you spend playing with your gadgets? Do you know that too much use of gadgets harms you? Now, fill in the following table to write your own editorial. One sentence is enough. The parts of an editorial, we have here the introduction, the argument, the evidence, counter-argument, refutation, and conclusion. For the post assessment, you're going to write an editorial article on the topic given, which is about community quarantine versus hunger. Number one, introduce your topic brief background, explain the history of the issue, who it affects, and why people should care. Be sure to capture or hook the interest and make them feel connected. Number two, boldly declare your opinion. Number three, build your argument. Number four, add in analogies or examples to back up your argument. Number five, acknowledge opposing viewpoints and politely demolish them. Number six, finish the article by offering a new solution or way of looking at the issue. In the additional activities, Write an article of your choice of topic. Use the rubrics of your guide in writing your own short story. We have here the criteria. Article presents at least five parts of an editorial. The article is easy to understand and ideas are well organized and clearly presented. And the article contains no error the grammar, punctuations, and capitalization. This ends the lesson. See you again next time.